Hey guys, this is Con Con, <clears throat> and um, I'm back from my three week hiatus due to the fact that um, I had to do some um, school work during quarantine because of, you know, you know what everyone says about this specific thing, even what I said like two videos ago, two videos ago, in three weeks. I don't know. But regardless, um, I'm going to make a video based around a wiki that you're, um, probably looking at right now. And it's called Unlikely Characters for Smash Brothers Wiki. Now, for this video, in order to, like, like, show you guys about this wiki, even though I'm going to inform you first until I do this special thing. And which is a special thing. <laughs> I'm going to read you three random pages on this wiki. <clears throat> you know, I don't want the coronavirus when I cough because it's normal. <laughs> but regardless, I'm trying to take inspiration from Hudu Hulum's Revenge. By the way, go subscribe to him. He makes great creepypasta videos and gorillas videos. You know that band. <laughs> did I did I never look into most of the time? But what I heard. But but basically he did a video when he went to the creepypasta wiki and to read three random creepypastas, whether they're good or whether they're bad. <clears throat> And that's what I'm mostly going to do in this video. So yeah. Oh, and if you don't know what the wiki is, even though you didn't look at the description of one of my videos of the top 5 unlucky character for Smash video, let me explain this to you. <clears throat> this wiki is about unlikely characters and why they won't fit in Smash. That's basically it. And, um, these are just points and notes about the stuff, like, oh, um, this is not made to upset everyone, it's my opinion. And, um, another note is just that we understand that pe un people ask unlikely characters as a joke sometimes, but they got taken over by rapid counterparts, as you can see right here. <clears throat> and, um... There is like the inspiration of like the wiki from Mirahis that that I just figure out that it's actually some of them bag actually bad according to some YouTubers like the package reviewer. By the way, go subscribe to him also. He makes great rants. Great fan rants about DeviantArt users <laughs> that are not trolls. Like at all. If I can like heard. <clears throat> but and also, there is a uh, link to the sister wiki, which I'm probably going to do sometime. But I'm pretty sure we're like equally, equally likely that would happen. And um, these are the requirements for a character to join Smash Brothers. I want you to guys to listen up here because Nintendo is from Japan. And most of you know that Nintendo is from Japan. But if you don't know all about all this stuff, Excuse me. Excuse me again. Um, let me read all these requirements to you. Excuse me. The third time. <clears throat> Anyways. Requirements for a character to join Super Smash Bros. Number one. The character must originate from video games, not from other media such as anime, manga, comics, cartoons, novels, movies, or even real life. But most of you Smash fans know that Sakurai deep confirmed non-video game characters during one of the Japan Game Awards and all that stuff. Number two, the character must be popular in the West and Japan, but mostly, but most importantly, Japan. That's the biggest point of all because Nintendo's from Japan, Smash Bros. is from Japan, and um. And the character must be a video game character. You know, you know what I heard. Number three. Nintendo must partner with a third party developer. 
Nintendo has partnered with third-party developers that are popular in Japan that has supported Nintendo for like over 30 years or so. <clears throat> and um, this is like a slide showing like the um the characters, the selections like Nintendo characters, third-party characters, and um the obvious non-video game characters. But now we're going to the topic of this video because why did I just make filler? <clears throat> But I just want to tell you what it is. So let's click random page. Character number one. Let's see who it is. Oh, never mind. It's just a little leggy. <laughs> Alright, and let's see who it is. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. no, 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 no. Let's bubbly. Let's. But yeah. Whoa, that's a little hard thing to do. That's very, very sad. But, the scared of number one, I guess. Alright then. <clears throat> Bubsy is the main protagonist of, well, the Bubsy series. Um, somehow, a few people wanted him to, wanted him in Smash. <laughs> Even though it was unlikely due to these reasons below. Why he's very unlikely. He, his game, and his creator, Accolade, are obscure in Japan. His series is known for being a commercial failure, so it would be hard for him to join in. Obviously, because... Look at this guy. He's stupid. In fact, Bubsy is one of the most hated video game characters of all time. Also, obviously, the only redeeming quality... He will have a potential moveset, however, it will still not make him likely whatsoever. <clears throat> um, this is actually one of those pages where, <laughs> where it just, you know, you know what I mean. Excuses fans make to justify his inclusion. His games are on Nintendo consoles. His games are a commercial failure, so, nope. <laughs> Why did I do that? <sighs> I don't know which like sitting position is more comfortable or not. <laughs> Who would want a horrible video game character? Oh, okay. Who would want a horrible video game character? Obviously, these people would. These people. <laughs> the few people would. Because he's a video game character. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever. Alright then. That's it. I'm sorry I have this short because I don't know. What to think of other reasons why a specific character is unlikely to be in Smash. Character number two. Alright then, boys. Ooh, the first non-video game character. Yeah, it's the most obvious thing in the whole entire world. And now making making characters unlikely to be in Smash. <sighs> Anyways. Alright then, <laughs> why did I do that? Iron Man is the main protagonist of the Marvel comics. He is the hero from the Iron Man comics, obviously, who defeats his foes, mainly Abadia Stain, aka Iron Monger. <clears throat> Many people want this character in, in Smash, even though Sakurai just def confirms this character. <laughs> obviously, like I said before. Why is he definitely, since he's a non video game character, unlikely? First of all, obviously, he has a comic origin, which makes it impossible for him to join Smash. The hair of power from Markiplier. Why did I make some filler jokes? <clears throat> Shut up, Connor. Iron Man will look very out of place in Smash Brothers, considering as said before. I might add to get rid of the concern as before, but it will be equally likely to do so. Since Disney is stingy with their properties, now, if you guys didn't know, Marvel's owned by Disney now, just like Lucasfilm and 20th Century Studios. And the reason why I called that because Disney took out the Fox name of Fox Searchlight like Pictures and 20th Century Fox. Sad, I know, but... You know, not all things last forever. 
It's not gonna be a big deal. But anyways, even Sakurai knows how unlikely. Wait, oh, oh, I forgot the frick. Ah, forgot. It will be even more possible. Impossible, I mean. I just said it very fast. <laughs> even Sakurai knows how unlikely Iron Man is. As stated before. Yeah. The only redeeming quality. He would have a potential moveset. However, it will still not make him likely whatsoever. <laughs> just like the Bubsy one. Excuses fans make to justify his inclusion. Marvel is an iconic company. Marvel is a comic company and a movie company. So... No, no, no. <laughs> Shut up! Anyways, who will want a comic book character in the game? Sakurai just deconfirmed him. Why? <laughs> oh god. Freaking hair all over me. I think it's all gone. Shut up, battery. No one cares. Alright then. Um. Last character of this video. Did I just click on it? Hmm. Click. Okay. No. Click. Why it took so long for like, I, I, do you see that I just spit right there? <laughs> because I feel like it, woo, something more interesting. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> this is, um, Tiki Winky from Sunday Tubbies. Now let's read. Oh, first, turn page on this blanket. Can't yell anymore. Because basically, I'm losing my voice. Why do I always burp? Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna say excuse me for all the burps I do in this video. Note, Con Anon, which is me, had checked the wiki activity to figure out the 10th page. And I did. <laughs> Alright then, anyways. Let's be quick until we reach the 10th, I mean, 15 minute mark. Tinker Winky is one of the main characters from both Teletubbies and Sunny Tubbies. But this page about is... Sunny Tubby's incarnation. However, someone wants to give Winky and Smash. Even though that someone made his move set, it feels, uh, it feels like he's unlikely to be in, as he's technically from a non-video game media franchise. Why is he very to definitely unlikely? Firstly, Sunny Tubby's is based on Teletubbies, a non-video game media franchise, which means there's no chance for Tinker Winky to join Smash at all. Zero Works is probably obscure in Japan. His series is not made for kids. Well, not Teletubbies, just Sunny Tubbies. Did you see? He will look very out of place. His games never made on Nintendo console due to as stated before. The only redeeming quality, like made it multiple times before, he would have a potential moveset. Excuses fans make to justify his inclusion. You can think, search, and put an excuse for fans what you like. Because basically, I was expecting someone to put, think, to um look up the excuse that fans make about Tiki Wiki from Slendy Tubby about to join Smash. And this, this is the image caption. Oh wow, a slender clone, clone character based on non video game media. How exciting! Ooh, shut up! But, um, that's all I can read today. Man, this could be like the longest video ever I ever made. But regardless, this is Con Con signing out. Save it for my finger. Right here, this is better.